What's going on guys? My name is Marcel Flores. Welcome to my YouTube channel One Dapper Street and welcome to another episode of the What I Wore This Week series. Now in the late summer, we're looking at a few casual outfits, starting to integrate some lighter jackets as I'm expecting the temperatures to drop any freaking day now. But let's get started with Monday and outfit number one. Here we have a pair of Zara seersucker pants in navy that are relaxed and super comfy, part of a suit, and we're combining that with the classic Uniqlo tank top and the New Balance Grade 8 5 50s, 540s, I forget. <laughs> um, tucking in the Uniqlo tank top here into the pants so we got a nice relaxed vibe on the lower half. And I absolutely love these pants. They actually made me go for a denim shirt. I don't know the last time I wore a denim shirt, but this one's super, super flowy, super lightweight, very breathable from Mango Man and also a bit more on the relaxed side. Now, of course, we're gonna accessorize, playing off that last video I posted where you have the Nautica shades in tan and blue. We've got my Piaget Polo S and we've got a nice necklace from Core Collection from my boy Coastal Flicks on Instagram. So this fit, I really, really like it. It was ultra comfortable. We're playing obviously off those blue tones, navy in the pants and the lighter blue in the upper half. Then we got the gray as a little accent, but mostly the white is the complementary color here to the rest of the fit. Relaxed, stylish, straightforward, and actually really weather appropriate. Now on to look number two. Here we've got from ATOS, a pair of brand new shorts that's actually launching today. These are really, really beautiful. We've got a nice tap design on the side to make them even more fitted. And I'm pairing them with the On This Day slash OTD high top sneakers in white and black. Now, I love these shorts. They're nice and form fitting, but really, really stretchy, really comfortable. And we're gonna make a little bit more of a, a streetwear outfit with what is otherwise a fairly classy short. So here we have from Target's Goodfellow brand, a long sleeve with a pocket on the left chest in white to match the white socks and white sneakers. Then we've got from Clocks and Colors, a pair of black shades and my Mont Blanc watch, which is black leather strapped, but has that nice silver dial to tie in the white accents of the outfit. And then we're finishing that off with a Canada Goose sling bag, bum bag, whatever you want to call it in black to make it a bit more interesting. The color combination is kept obviously super simple, white and black, straightforward. We've got a slimmer silhouette from the sneakers to the shorts to the top. And that is a solid outfit, but I'm going to give you guys a option for this. As the temperatures are dropping, you can choose to drop the bag and maybe pop on a jacket. This one is a varsity jacket from Zara. It's tan and white and mostly brown, but it does have some black accents and it really, really goes well with the vibe of the outfit, I think. So we're adding a little bit of earth tones in here, which is not something I normally do for a black and white combo but I think this works really well just because we have that one black line in the detail of the jacket. So that's Tuesday, option number two, in case it gets a little bit colder. Moving on to Wednesday, we're starting out in a pair of burst chinos. These are very slim fit, and we're gonna do a slim fit outfit, a little bit more of a simple slim fit outfit in light earth colors. We've got that faded light green, then up top, also from burst, a cream colored t-shirt that fits really well, really nice and soft fabric. And we're gonna pick up that color with the Puma X Ami Paris high top sneakers in white cream. And then we've got a little bit of that rubber gum sole on the bottom just peeking out. So nicely playing into the lighter earth colors that I mentioned. Now, this is a solid look, right? It works, it's good, but we can of course make it a bit more interesting. And one of the things I have been doing all summer to do so is tying a hoodie around the upper body. I think it adds a little bit more dynamic to the outfit and it gives you the option that if you actually get cold, so you're inside, the AC's bumping, you can pop the hoodie on. This one is from Abercrombie in cream and tan. So obviously going really well with the colors of the outfit. Now I'm busting out my Breitling with a faded green fabric strap and then a jade black shades in a tortoise color combo. So a bit darker than the rest of the outfit, but we're still playing off of the light color earth tones. And that's the simple light color earth tone outfit that I promised you right here. A little sporty, definitely more on the slim side, but as simple as this outfit is, I like to point out, if you go for more unconventional colors, you can make a simple outfit still stand out. Next day, we're starting out in a pair of Kith white jeans. They're a bit on the slimmer side, but not very tapered, so a more straight fit. Up top, we have from, now let me remember this correctly. This is from, darn, Zara. A Zara Oxford shirt in white and blue. And then on my feet, we've got these Nike sneakers that have that like icy blue color to them. It's mostly gray. If like, if you just ask anybody, they're probably gray. 
but the more you look at them, you'll see that there's a blue undertone in there and we're gonna cuff those white kith jeans up just a little bit to let that sneaker shine uh, and let the Uniqlo white socks peek out a little bit. Now that bluish undertone on the gray, we're picking up with this gorgeous Zara jacket that I just copped last week. I fell in love with this. The fit is amazing. The fabric is very luxurious and it goes really well with this white and blue color combo. The, so does the Piaget Polo S and these specs from Warby Parker in silver and blue, dark blue lenses. So obviously playing off of that icy blue vibe for this fit. I really like this. It is minimally sporty, very elegant, love the light colors. White against that light blue I think is a really, really solid color combination that we don't necessarily see all that often. So um, I like this, swaggy, but at the same time, slim fitted. On to Friday and on to another pair of ATOS shorts. So the first ones were a size 32, these are a size 34, and because we have the side pull tab, you can opt to size up and make them a bit more roomy if you want a little bit more room in your shorts and then with the pull tabs you can make them more fitted around your waist. The polo is also from ATOS, a recent launch, nice, simple, feels amazing, a beautiful cut in white and then we're adding the New Balance sneakers here uh, once again using the white Uniqlo socks. If you want to know why I wear them so much, watch my last video on accessories. Now I'm going to tuck this polo in and we're going to go for a little bit more of a preppy vibe with this. I'm, I'm actually kind of excited because I feel like I don't do that so much anymore, but we have the polo tucked in, we've got, we have one extra button buttoned up. Now we're going to add a uh, Emile Leondor cardigan to that in a heather gray, so a little bit of a different gray than we have in the shorts, but it works. I'm just going to button one button on that. And we're getting into like that sporty, college -y, nerdy vibe, which I um, really, really like. Um, I'm adding my Piaget one more time, then also a pair of Giorgio Armani Specs that have a black frame so we and, and yeah you know the haircut to match the whole thing too and we have a nice achromatic look we've got gray and white all throughout we've got um you know a little bit of that black accent just in the shades but i like this look a lot i think the specs definitely bring the point home about the nerdy sporty the combination of the sneakers with the cardigan goes hard and these shorts are like i said incredibly comfortable and really on point even if you size up so if you guys want to shop them links to all these pieces are down below but these shorts just went on sale today, so go cop yours. On to the weekend and on to this beautiful pair of OTD cargo pants and a straight fit in that nice medium brown color. Now what I love about that, they're nice and fitted around the waist and butt area, but then they are a little bit more relaxed towards the bottom. I might taper them just a tiny bit, but here I'm playing with the Uniqlo tank top, thinking about leaving it untucked for a second, but I'm gonna tuck it in anyway. And then I'm wearing my Nike AF1 low tops in white, which I haven't cut, like grabbed those in so, so long, but I think they go really, really well with the pants. And obviously that nice clean white goes well with the clean white of the Uniqlo tank top. Make sure I'm all the way zipped up. And then we're adding navy to it. So we have that white as a neutral. And then the combination of the earth color with the navy. Uh, this is the suit jacket for the Monday's look um, where we saw the pants. So this is actually a size small and this is how relaxed it is. It's definitely meant to be oversized. And now you can also see a little bit of that seersucker detail. We've got from Hugo Boss a pair of shades of blue lenses and a brown frame. And then we have the Piaget Altoplano in navy and rose gold. So picking up on those colors really well. And that infamous pearl necklace from Serge Denim. Uh, which I loved as a nice little touch to finish this outfit off. It's primarily about two things for me here. It's about the relaxed fit, yet somehow still a tailored aesthetic, and it is about the color combination of that navy with the earth tone. I think that goes really strong, and continuing that throughout the accessories with the shades and the watch. You can button the whole thing up if you want to. You don't have to, but that is my fit for the Saturday. And then on to Sunday, we're experimenting a little bit more with the wider silhouette, but the classic aesthetic. These are from Ted Baker, a pair of tan, well, cream, off-white even, pleated pants uh, that I think are absolutely beautiful. I got those last week and I'm really excited to wear them, not only in the late summer, but also into the fall. I'm gonna pair this with a, a simple white t-shirt that's a little bit more on the relaxed side from Zara, and I'm gonna tuck that one in as well. We're gonna go for a little bit more of a, a vintage vibe with this look. If there's a little bit of extra room in the pants for now, I might take them to the tailor, but for today, we'll just be using a belt. 
Uh, been a while since I've worn a belt. It's a brown leather belt with a silver buckle and trust that we'll integrate that with the shoes. Here we have a pair of cap toe derbies from Ami Paris, one of my favorite pairs of shoes of all time that I haven't worn in a long time and I'm excited to style them in a way that I haven't in a long time maybe ever with the relaxed front pleated pants. Uh, on a cuff them up a tiny bit, just about a half an inch um, to give the uh, shoes a little bit of room to breathe and to avoid that the pants actually create a break when they hit the shoes. Now I think you can already kind of tell the, the vibe I'm gonna go for, but if you can, I'm gonna add these Ray-Ban shades, tap my hair so it looks good, add this Longines watch and another uh, necklace, a Cuban link from Core Collection. Tuck that in so it's just peeking out a little bit. Finish that off with a duffel bag from Toomey, which is a gray color. It has a nice warm undertone, so it goes well with this aesthetic. And here we have it, you know, sleeves rolled up on the t-shirt, tucked in with the belt, a little high-waisted, a nice vintage -y feel. Obviously, if you don't like the duffel bag, you can leave that to the side, but that is about it for today. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please leave any thoughts, comments, questions down below. I promise I'm gonna make these what I wore this week videos as often as you guys want me to. Thank you one more time. I'll see you soon with the next one. Until then, as always, stay dapper. Bye y'all.